And the game we're playing is... This or That with John Patrico. This or That with John Patrico. Uh, and it's going to be uh, me versus Moon versus Jeff. Here's how we're going to play you this. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm looking you forward to this. You can get with that. So, Tony... I I, I, dude, but, real quick. Weren't you guys so sad at the, at, at the possibility... That John P. wouldn't wouldn't play a game with us again. Yes, I very was much so. so sad. I was undecided, to be honest. With you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we. I think I think he will continue to play games with us. We just have to be cautious as what to right. What play. game we're what game we're going to play with him? So uh, Tony yesterday recorded his dad giving responses to a this or that oh. questions. Okay. So the three of us will have to figure out what his answer is, and whoever gets the most right, our respective teammates on the phone will win their choice of prizes. Simple as that. All right. So let's get our teammates. We got uh, line one and Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, Bobby. Happy right. birthday, Riz. Thank you, sir. You team uh, Riz, Moon, or Jeff? I got to go with my boy, Burton. All right. That a boy team now. Jeff. All right. Hang on one second. Start stretching. I don't want you to pull anything. Andrew. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Team Riz or Team Moon? I'll go Team Riz. Happy All birthday, Riz. Right. Thanks, sir. I hope we win. Last pick in kickball. Matt, you are Team Moon, okay? Matt, hello. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 1997, 1990 Matt. 90 you, know, you know what's hilarious is I'm pretty sure Matt is always on Team Moon when it comes to matching with yeah. Moon and loses every and time. That's when I don't uh, win. Yeah, I know. I still have that one. All right, Matt, hang I'm on one sorry. second. Team Moon. Team Moon. All right, let's do this. Uh, this or that with John Patrico. All right, so I will read the question, and then, Riz, you have my dad's response. Yep. Sometimes it's very quick. Sometimes he John Patricos it, okay? Okay. Question number one so is... Answer, uh, that, that's not giving Riz the answer, though, is it? No, I just have the numbers in front of me. I don't, no, have, no, any, yeah. I don't have anything in front... Jeff, I All see right. the way you're looking at me. <laughs> no, on, on his screen, yeah, Jeff, it literally says 1 through 12, and that's, that's all All right, has. I'll believe you, I guess. Um, so the question I asked my dad would, was, would you rather poop every time you sat down or peed every time you stood up? Uh, I'm going to say uh, John said pooped every time he sat down. To me, um, I think it's an easy one. Yeah, this is a one, not a two for him. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah. So so we're all guessing, right? Yeah. Yes, everybody guesses. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess pee every time he stands up. Oh, so you, I'm saying poop. You guys say pee. Here's the answer. I guess I'd rather poop every time I sat down. Because yep. I'd be peeing the, the whole time while I was crap. standing. It'd be no fun. <laughs> no, you got it. No, he's got the answer. Not the front. whole time, Clearly. just every time. What? This is, this is, yeah, yeah, this is this forget that John doesn't understand listen, what he's doing. This is John Patrico. I did not coach him God. on any of this. I just let him go. <laughs> he didn't understand the question. Come on. One for me. Next question. Would you rather be answers. stuck on a deserted island with your son or with Moon? Okay, so he's going to hear the question and go, on the island, you would you rather look up and see the sun or the moon? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the question again? Would you rather be stuck on a deserted island with your sun or with moon? Jeff, what do you think John said? <sighs> I hate that I'm going to think that he's going to take his sun as opposed to moon. I really hate that I think he's going to say that, but I think that's what he's going to say. So he's going to say moon? No, his son. He's going to say his son. Moon. Okay, he's going to say yes. He's going to say his son. Moon. What do you say? Well, no. What do you say? I have my answer. But what do you say? I'm going to say he's saying you. I'm going to say he's saying Patrico because he's family. I'm going to say yep. Moon. Here's his answer. God, give me a third choice. Believe it or not, I'd probably rather do it with Moon because I Get kill you. Out. He's got the answers. He's got Get the out answers. Of here. Get out! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, on my children. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh well, since you swore to God, okay then. I'm trying to win for what's up, and I'm I'm failing and you guys you again. Are Steve and I here. Down I want to get my my partner Steve here something good. It's Bobby. Oh man, okay. Bobby. <laughs> right. I'm coming Steve. back. Next question. I'm coming back. I'm up two nothing. All right. I asked my dad. I said, let's say you're single. Would you rather uh, sleep with one uh, with one hot chick forever with no feeling downstairs, or be a ladies' man with the world's smallest member? So I'll okay, say it again. So would you rather? Would you rather bang one hot chick forever with no feeling in your downstairs, or be a ladies' man with the world's smallest ween? I'm saying ladies' man, smallest ween. I'm saying the other one. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think his ego would handle a small ween. You think hot chick 
with no feeling? That's what Moon says. Jeff? Yes, I do. I say ladies' man with small ween for two reasons. One, he's still going to be a ladies' man by description of the choice. And two, Riz has the answers in front of him, and that's what he says. That's so. not true. <laughs> Here's his answer. I guess I'll be a ladies' man. I'm oh, a ladies' God man, damn. and the small, it doesn't matter. Jeff, Jeff got you, the point. You nailed it on one of the two of your reasonings. And I got a point. This is over. This is over. This hey, is Moon, over. from now on, Riz goes first, okay? Hey, I'm with you, dude. I think he has the answers because there's no way he's I guessing uh, flawlessly. He does not have... I literally handed him this the sheet. He's, listen, listen he's to me. The, Hold on, listen to me. These are the least like logical answers a human can give. I handed... I literally went to hand Riz the questions, not the answers, the questions today. <laughs> I go, here, do you want to hold on to this or do you want me to? And he goes, I don't even want to know the questions because I want to uh, be surprised. Get out. Get out. No, no. Yeah, you guys you practice that little fake outburst you better, right there. Uh, Shut your faces. Riz, Riz, I'm saying this on air right now. I will... I will do whatever Jeff Burton tells me to, and I will give you $1,000 if you tell me what the next question is. The smartest computer on Look at Earth him. He's would his not be no. able saying, to predict John Patrico's answers to anything. I got lucky three times in a row. Uh -huh. he can't Here's number four. Would you rather have one night in the bedroom with Riz or Jeff? <laughs> Let's have Riz answer first. I will answer first. Would you rather have one night in the bedroom with me or I'm going to say me? I'm going to say Jeff. <laughs> I'm going to say Boy. Jeff. He should say me, but... But he's going to suck up to gonna, Riz. He's going to A, suck up to Riz, and two, he's going to say because Riz has a, will have a nicer bedroom and a nicer bed and uh, all that other stuff. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. So, so you're Jeff, you're Riz. saying me. I'm saying yeah. me. Moon says Jeff. I don't want either one of them in the bed with me. Jeff, because it's just stupid. I don't know. I'm on the ball! Moon's on the yes. board. I'll take that loss. Moon's I'll take on the that board. loss. <laughs> John, you're a smarter man than I thought. Oh, man. An excellent lover. Thank you. What was this reason? Because it's He's... stupid. Oh, How God. crazy is that? He's going to sleep with Jeff and, and, and live with me on an island. Who would have ever thought it's stupid. those were possible? Uh, next. Would you rather, I asked my dad, would you rather sleep with a goat and have no one know about it or not sleep with a goat and have everyone think that you did? Who wants to go, go first? first. I'll go first. I'll say not sleep with a goat and have everybody think that he did because he's not going to care if people think that he slept with a goat. I'm going to say not sleep with a goat and have everybody think he did. Moon? Yeah, I agree with Jeff's reasoning, so I guess we're all here. Okay. I guess I'll sleep with it. Nobody ever knows about it. Then. <laughs> I slept with Jeff, so what the hell is it different? <laughs> Jeff, goat? Oh my gosh. Don't matter. Holy cow. Yeah, but you slept with me Do first, John. Do you see what I you slept mean? With, you That's slept with me first. Can you play Remember that one that. more time, his answer? I guess I'll sleep with it. Nobody ever knows about it then. I slept with Jeff, so what the hell is it different? <laughs> Jeff, goat, don't matter. Mm-hmm. Jeff, goat, <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> Ridiculous reasoning. The shower no, between, right, here's, all I ask. Here's number, <laughs> here's number six. This all is... right, number six. Number six. I, I, I read the scenario to my dad. I said, so you win $5 million, but you have to legally change your name to Boner McScrotum Lover, and you have to introduce yourself to everyone every time you meet somebody. Would you do it, yes or no? Five million bucks? Five million? Five million dollars, but you have to change your name to Boner McScrotum Lover and tell everybody that's your name when you meet them. Do you do it, yes or no? Yes. It's so weird because he's such a mystery because on one side I want to say, ah, what do I need five million dollars for is what he's going to say. Or, yeah, give me five million dollars. I don't care. I'm not going to go introduce myself to anybody anyway because I have five million dollars. I don't know which way to go. I'm going to say yes. Yes, Wait, what he'll was take the money and change his name. Yes, he'll take the money and change his name to five million dollars to change your name to Boner McScrotum Lover, and you got to introduce yourself as that to everybody every time you meet yeah. them. Yes or no? Five does million he do bucks. It? Five million bucks. Both I'll of say you yes. say yes. I say yes. Yeah. Then I'll say, no. the uh, I'll say no. I'll say no. I think he's too proud, and he doesn't. He he doesn't. He doesn't want nobody else's money. Free money. Moon he says no. Work for it. Here we go. I will win nothing. I don't need the money that bad. Whoa! Yeah, yes. Coming back now. So Jeff has one, I have three, Moon has two. Wow. That's shocking. It's uh, weird that I'm losing a contest. Next question. All right, so this answer is very quick and very brief. I said, would you rather lose your ability to use your legs or your hands? Oh, I'm going to say legs. He, he's a bricklayer. So if you have your hands, then you don't have your legs? Correct. Okay. Would you rather lose your ability to use your legs or your hands? I'll say legs 
because he's a bricklayer, Riz has the answers, and he can still work the remote at the chair and hold his grandkids. Okay, here's, here's um, I, I would say that in, in a normal circumstance, he would say he'd rather lose his legs for the reasons that you said, but I'm going to go hands because I'm hoping that he thinks, you know what, I'm going to retire soon, and at least I'll still be able to go to cards, games, and whatever, and this is the only chance I have to gain ground. See, I, I'm wavering because maybe he doesn't want to be waver. carted around or somebody See? have to like... Don't waver. Yeah. Don't waver. Somebody have to move him when he's got to go somewhere. I'm still going. You, I'm still stop going. Stop it. Yeah, you, I'm still you stay going with legs. legs. Stay still with legs. legs. I'm staying with hands. Still come on, hands. Legs. Come on, I'm hands. a legs guy. Hands. I'm a legs you need guy. To walk. <laughs> hands, Woo! you need to walk. So Wow. Moon's right. Moon's right. Moon and I are tied. Damn it. You need to walk, but how much TV do you watch a night? Come on. <laughs> All right, number eight. We, we have 12 altogether. So we have uh, five more. more. Okay. <laughs> I asked my dad, would you rather drink a vomit milkshake or eat a pubic hair sandwich? Uh, I'm going to say vomit milkshake. I'm going sandwich all day. Moon? <sighs> um, I'm going to say he's going sandwich. I'm on vomit, vomit milkshake island. Yeah. I'm not doing either one of them. Well, it'd have to be, I guess, the pube sandwich because I'm not drinking a vomit. <laughs> There's no way. Moon now takes the lead. What do I have, eight now? <laughs> you have two. I feel like we're getting in the mind of John Patrico. All right, number nine. Uh, would you rather die in a fire or drown? Ooh, oh, man. Boy. I'm going to say drown. I'm going to drown. I'm going to say drown. Yeah, I think he's saying drown. I'm going drown. I guess drown. Yeah. All right, that's five for Moon, lifter. four for me, three for Jeff. Three more. Here we go. What do I have, five? You have three. You get to punch one person in the face, Jeff, Riz, or Moon. moon. Who do you pick? <laughs> I'm going to say Moon. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely me. <laughs> it's definitely me. <laughs> I go moon, moon's it, going moon. Jeff? I say moon, and he's not just going to say moon either. He's going to say, oh, baby, moon, and I can't wait for the chance. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Well, I guarantee you, since I'm on an island with him by myself, I'm going to punch him anyway, so <laughs> I might as well get used to it. Moon, you're getting punched. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he still wants to punch me for the uh, the wood floor prank call that yeah, I got him. Years oh, ago. He, gosh. Yeah. Years oh, ago. Years, years ago. He's, as he's punching me, he's going to say, this is for the, the Eagle Cherry Oak uh, floor thing. <laughs> oh, we got two left. Uh, we got two left. Jeff has four points. I got five points. Moon's got six points. Here we go. Ooh, I got I'm, 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 in, right. I'm, in, I'm instating a new rule right now. Because there's only two left and Moon is up by one, whoever is in the lead has to answer first. Okay. Oh, that's Just so you can't strategy do it. You okay. know? All right, so the question I asked my dad is, would you rather get a penis tattooed on your face or your face tattooed on your penis? He's going to say uh, his face, face tattooed on, on a face penis. Face on penis. I'm saying face on penis. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you say that one more time. <laughs> face tattooed on penis. Well, I guess I'm going to go with the face tattooed on my penis because nobody's going to see that at least. I'd be a real nice guy to have a one on my face. Mm hmm I'm being a real nice guy to have it on my face. <laughs> oh, I see. That's the stuff that makes him mad, Tony. Knock it off. Oh, stop it. All right. The best I could do here is tie. Sorry, Jeff. You're All right. out. Well, how many do I need to tie it? <laughs> uh, you're out. Oh. All right. Last question. Ooh, question number 12. This, this will is... it be a tie or will Moon win? Whew, this is a good one. You get to. I, I said to my dad, you get to pick one of two scenarios. What would it be? Your son helps you with whatever you need and does it immediately, but bitches the entire time. Or it takes him a few times to get something done, but he has a great attitude while doing it. Okay, say that I, again. Choice one. Say it Your again. son helps you with whatever you need and does it immediately, but bitches the entire time. Uh -huh. Or it takes him a few times to get something done, but he's got a great attitude while doing it. Okay, I I'm need saying, to go first. Okay, 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 go ahead. I need to well, go let first, me go right? first since I'm, I'm not in the running. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write down my answer just so I. I'm gonna know, say he's strategy. gonna go number one because you already do that anyway, and I'm used to it or something to that effect. I'm gonna go number two. Oh, wow. 
and it's because he wants uh, you to have a better attitude and get it right. Uh, you know, like some sort of, I'm, I'm going to say the father in him is going to want you to, uh, you know, experience the, the messes up and get it right. And he's sick of your attitude. Nope. I'm thinking number one, <laughs> I'm thinking because he wants it done right and doesn't care if he's bitching and wants to get it done quickly. Crud. Crud. Well, you know what? This is a win-win because we either have one winner or two winners. On the All right. So one more time. I said... You get to pick one of the two scenarios. Your son helps you with whatever you need and does it immediately, but bitches the entire time. Or it takes him a few times to get something done, but he's got a great attitude while doing it. All right, here we go. His answer. What would I rather do? Yeah. I'd rather do the second one because uh, I got the first one and that already happens. Uh, so there's no scenario. Number one is true life. Number two would be nice. Oh, uh, congratulations. <laughs> So my reasoning was right, but I chose the wrong one. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that means Matt wins. Finally, Matt, what's up? Yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> All right, hang on one second. King's got to get your info. I'm going to miss it for 30 days. Right, yeah. Congrats. Congratulations. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back with a uh, very quick crap on celebrities.